Hey, uh, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. And, and this is an interesting matchup for you guys in, in a team that uh, plays a similar style in a lot of respects in terms of the defense, in terms of pace of play as well. Where do you think you have the advantage tonight? I think we were really good defensively. Um, you know, we forced them into some tough shots. Uh, I thought we were really active, uh, especially there in the first half and that third quarter. You know, they're, they're a veteran team. They, they kind of turned it on there in the fourth, got back in the game. But a uh, big time win for us, uh, for our confidence. You know, we're a young team, and this was a huge win for us. You've played under different coaches there in your, in your young career. Give us a, a sense of the emphasis that Quinn Snyder has placed on the defensive end of the floor for you guys. <laughs> It's been huge, man. Since he got here, we've been, you know, every day in practice doing defensive stuff. That's our calling card. It's our identity. Um, that's how we stay in games, no matter if we're rolling or not offensively. And, um, you know, defense travels with us, too, on the road. So uh, we got to make sure that we're tough defensively every night. And uh, tonight we were. It was good. Uh, talk about, uh, Gordon, your, your teammates, uh, both Burks. You know, they've been starters. Now they're coming off the bench. And we've, we saw what Andre Gladala did in the finals, winning the MVP. Uh, playing a role off the bench. How important is it for them to, to provide that punch for you guys? It, it's been great for us, you know, for them to be able to embrace that, um, come off the bench, provide a spark. You look at all the great teams, the teams that win the championship, and they always have, you know, a good bench, somebody that can come in and uh, give you some energy, give you a lift, and they did that tonight. Trey was, you know, phenomenal tonight, uh, stepping up and hitting threes, really providing a boost for us, and then Alec kind of closed it with some of his free throws late. So uh, it... it Gives us great depth, and, you know, we really need them. Gordon, Mike Fratello, you went through a stretch of three games where you just weren't shooting the ball real well. The rhythm wasn't there, and now last two games, you're back with the stroke again. What would you do in between? A little extra work, uh, break it down mechanics-wise? What's changed? You know what? Just uh, getting in the gym more, um, you know, really kind of breaking down the shots that I was taking. We looked at a lot of film. Uh, with, with both my assistant coaches and also with Coach Quinn. And um, just looking at the type of shots that I was getting, you know, what I was trying to, to accomplish on the offensive end and then getting in the gym. So uh, just trying to be a student of the game and trying to get better each one. Gordon, Rick Fox, one more question for you here. I got to say I liked your interview with Colin Cowherd uh, defending oh, yeah. eSports. Uh, did, what are your thoughts on Double Lift leaving CLG for TSM? <laughs> Uh, it's a big move, man. A big move in the world of esports. Um, you know, he's a main mainstay with CLG, but switched over for big roster changes. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't expect that, did you? I did not. I did not. <laughs>